Hey kids, it's Mr. Glenn here. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add a tree right here. So we can do this a couple of times. You can see in the original picture that we had in the previous video, we had a couple of trees here and then we had a large one to give it some balance. Remember, we like to have a nice balanced picture. So what I'm gonna do is as before, layer, import from file and then I'm going to go and choose one of my trees. I might choose this one so I can change the shape and orientation of it. What I mean by orientation is this. I like to have it that way because I can give it gives us a little bit of foreground on this side of the picture. So before I think I had it further up but the further away you go, the more um, you've got to shrink the picture. So I'm going to bring it up here and resize it. I'm going to leave it like this. Um, next, you can see that when I put the base of this here, it looks like it's floating. So I'm going to blend this in like I blended this grass in too. So once I've got the marching ants, I get rid of it by using the escape key on my keyboard like that then I'm going to go and hit E on my keyboard so I've got my eraser I'm going to go and change the size of my eraser to about 300 this time it's probably too big change it about 200 like that I'm going to change change the hardness down to about 5% and this time I'm going to just very gently blend this in so the, the darkness of the drought gets out of the way and it can look like it's part and lost within the drought like that just very gently move that away done that's it time for you to have a go the next time we're going to change the color of the tree good luck